what is business intelligence so business intelligence is something that it's it's a reliable and a relevant information which is provided to the right people at the right time to make the decisions faster so as a ceo as a cxo or a cfo you know how do you decide that you know uh, uh, what are the next steps that you have to take on your inventory what are the next steps that you have to take on your ebitda improvements or what are the next steps that you have to take on the receivables until an information is being provided to you uh, uh, then post that information you will be able to action upon so business intelligence is that you know probably getting the reliable information and relevant information to the right people at the right time to get the decisions faster so business intelligence may be in a form of anything which may be performance management analytics predictive modeling data and text mining and lot more uh, so what do you need uh, to have an effective business intelligent results in your company fun my first thing is that you know you need, you require some methods and programs uh, be it uh, connectors be it your database modelers or be it your it tools so these are kind of uh, methods and programs which will be required by an organization to probably collect and structure data so right now your data might be scrambled disparated right so you can bring all those data into a single place make a data warehouse and then probably do your entire analysis part convert into information and then present it to improve the business decisions so this is the way that has been the companies have been doing but in a very traditional way now business intelligence all together has brought it up in a very structured manner and you know when you go through this your company might become a uh, data driven company at the end of the day there's a myth uh, i'll just go you know business intelligence or business analytics so uh, going to this there are two different definitions to business intelligence or business analytics both are not the same so what happens that you know business intelligence uses your past and current data to inform current decisions or current success it uses uh, uh, the past data to analyze what it is and how it is kind of but business analytics is something that you know once you are done with your business intelligence it predicts what will happen in the future so business intelligence use addresses what and how in the current scenario whereas business analytics addresses why and what's next for example business intelligence is a descriptive reporting at the end of the day while uh, business analytics is the predictive reporting when i say what is the sales variance for the current month when a report is throwing you that is a business intelligence so why the sales have been uh, uh, at a lower side or a higher side would go into the business analytics part so it is very important to understand that what is business intelligence and what is business analytics i hope uh, uh, it's it's very clear that you know it explains what and how scenarios may be any variance that you can see it is available to you that this has happened and due to this what has happened what would be the next case scenarios be becomes a business analytics what are the key business intelligence tools that are available in the market now uh, so the few of are on the screen oracle power bi tableau zoho reports clickview clicksense uh sql server is one then sap bex SAP, sap has its own analytics format we have oracle as a uh, business intelligence tool so these are a few business intelligence tools that are available in your market and uh, 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 based on the current it infrastructure or the erps or the systems the the organization is deployed uh, 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 the organization can decide upon which tool is better uh, having uh, the assessment check done way in a proper manner and move forward to you know implement these kind of tools so there are other, other definite tools as well so these are the just names like target uh, cyber science your domo your sysens uh, micro strategies uh, sap bio webi uh, there was always known as which is being used by the manufacturing entities bi bio is one of them uh, definitely ms excel is something that you know you can do but not much with it because ms excel has some limitations over the kind of line items that you can maintain uh, be it uh, only 10 lakhs where your uh, database management system can have crores of data uh, so uh, just a tool that you know once you can correlate uh, what kind of business intelligence tools can be uh, uh, there uh, for you are available for you on the market uh, so if you can see uh, i'm i'm right now on a power bi function microsoft power bi tool which is an uh, uh, web based tool uh, cloud based tool uh, and i could see that you know being in the shoes of ceo i will try to explain two functions imagine that you come to your desk every morning and you see every kind of analysis being sales being finance being your operational reviews any kind of just within a click of button i'll try to present in the essence of time uh, very quickly two dashboards let's say you want to check out sales so once you go out to this particular function you can check out your sales just a single dashboard and you you can watch how effectively you can make out your business decisions out of this uh, particular dashboard uh, then we have also the finance dashboards over here okay 
and just full screen uh, you can see so this is a dashboard where you can see i can move in any kind of data uh, date that i want to check in i can filter out any kind of particular parameter be it your customer be it your different sites your channels your product your sales representative location your brand name you know your current sales you know budgeted sales your last sales you can check few trends uh, what is my current what is my current year budget what was my last year sales you can check your month wise uh, trends you can check your uh, sales by channel segments and you know by category sales customer wise reports representative uh, so this is a very basic dashboard but a lot more analysis can be added and you can imagine within one set of data set one kind of data structure one kind of uh, very mature data set what what analysis that you can have in your place similarly in the assessment of time i'll go to the uh, financial analysis another key metrics is the finances of a company how are my margins how are my ebitda how are my profits going on uh, right uh, so uh, for example i'll just put up this particular dashboard where you can see that you know uh, what is my revenue what is my gross margin if i particularly go i can toggle up between so have you seen such an effective data visualization for these many years i can go to any data so you can go uh, any year i can go and i can check it so had it been i asked to my team members they would take around 3 4 5 business days to collect this data present it in a different format a very unstructured not in a very unstructured format but in a long way in the different special which are kind of boring uh, and 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 the power of data visualization is something that you can very you can just toggle and check so i can say 2019 what what were my numbers in 20 uh, 2020 2021 what were my numbers if i want to just click on any kind of parameter be it mtd qtd ytd any kind of analysis just within a single dashboard is being answered so these kind of dashboards are prepared for cxos and cfos and caos uh, to analyze uh, a very quick decision making uh, 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 methodology uh, and and few detailed reports are being prepared for the down the line managers so that they can have a detailed analysis and reasoning and everything similarly i have few other dashboards where it says that you know it's a balance sheet which is being looked after by all the people across all different sectors all different organizations it is very important that you know how we are moving just toggle between you know with different months and you can see what what was my uh, liability in october and what was my liability in december then how did i move on to feb so a lot more analysis just within single and very interactive dashboard will help and serve your business functions uh uh then we have income statement definitely everyone prepares and if you want to check your particular channel business uh, let's say for i want to check only my pnl for first uh, channel or only for second channel i can check for all those particular uh, channels as well it's it's a menu it's a menu to very effective methodology of analyzing my pnl statements um, and my profitabilities and then you know deep diving into different uh, kind of uh, uh, granular data as well So it will provide you. I need not go to any person to just explain me what is or prepare a, a report for me. So definitely the other and the last part that I would like to explain is it's the working capital part, which is very important for a company. Uh, be it accounts receivable and accounts payable are the two important functions which the team wants to review day in and day out along with the inventory part. Mm-hmm.